hello everyone in this lecture i will talk about a cylinder we will uh, derive the the formula for the surface area of a cylinder and then we will also do the volume of a cylinder and then in the process we will also do many examples uh, solve many problems and i expect that once you see this lecture you also go back and uh, do the problems if you are doing a math class and this lecture is for class 9th and 10th but we can also use this for your own understanding of math for any for many other exams and general abilities so let's talk about the a cylinder a cylinder looks like this if you know how to draw a cylinder all you have to do is how do you, if you are not an artist i will tell you how to quickly draw a cylinder draw an ellipse something like a circle like this and then draw two lines like this equal lines and then again draw a half ellipse and this structure looks like a cylinder what we are given is its radius from here we can think of this is the radius let's call it small r and then it is given that its height if you measure from here is h now for this cylinder we are required to find a lateral surface area so let us first find lateral surface area what is a surface lateral surface area look at the outside the cylinder and and find the surface area of this whole on the surface of it don't count anything on the top of it and don't count anything on the bottom of that cylinder whatever surface area that you see on its lateral on the surface around this cylinder we need to find this area in terms of r and h and how do we do that let's say this is a cylinder something like that it's not a hollow cylinder it's a solid cylinder but for the moment let's say we wrap it around that cylinder we take this one and wrap it around the solid cylinder then this is the whole area that we need to find out you need to keep in mind that if i open up if i cut this paper this cylinder by cutting it like this and then open it like this it becomes a rectangle it is a rectangle which has the height is same as the height of this cylinder like this all we need to find out is this width this width of this rectangle if you look closely at this circle of this cylinder then this circle has the parameter perimeter is equal to r is the radius so this is going to be 2 pi r so if i wrap it up if i open it we get a rectangle let's make it like this we get a rectangle like this i'll write make it like this that has the height h and this perimeter is the same as the perimeter of this circle or 2 pi r now the lateral surface area we can calculate is the same as the area of this rectangle is 2 pi r into h this length which is 2 pi r into this height is h this is the lateral surface area of this circle you don't need to memorize this formula any time you are asked this question just mentally imagine a circle and mentally try to think what it will happen if i open up this cylinder and convert it into the in a rectangle and what 
will be its width and height and find out the area of this rectangle. If by doing the problem again and again, you memorize this thing, that is a different thing. Don't try to memorize it. If you try to memorize, your memory is going to be overloaded. You won't feel fresh if you try to memorize too many things. The next thing we are going to find out is the total surface area. This is the next question you may be asked. What is the total surface area? Think about this cylinder as a solid cylinder, not an empty cylinder. If it's a solid cylinder, then this has some area here and the same area on the bottom of the cylinder. If you add this lateral surface area, the top area and the bottom area, you get the total surface area of this cylinder. So the total surface area will be equal to lateral surface area plus area of circle on top plus we'll write plus area of circle on bottom very simple equation I'm not doing anything very magic here so what is the lateral surface area we found that 2 pi r into h by opening up the cylinder so 2 pi r into h this is the lateral surface area and the area of this circle is simply pi r square so i write pi r square for the top circle and then the area of the bottom circle same pi r square the pi r square plus pi r square becomes 2 pi r square and 2 pi r into h is the lateral surface area do you see something common here in both this term it's 2 pi r pi is common 2 is common r is common so let's take that common 2 pi r into h plus r this is the total surface area of the cylinder so in exams you may be asked simpler questions or the tough questions we have two two formula that I will write here lateral surface area is equal to 2 pi r into h and total surface area is equal to 2 pi r into h plus r again you don't need to memorize this formula if you are doing a lots of problem and you memorize by that way it's a different thing so let's do few questions question number one the area of a cylinder is given as r is equal to 3 centimeter and it has a height of 10 centimeter you take a scale you measure its radius it comes to close to 3 centimeter and its height is 10 centimeter so what is its lateral surface area a lateral surface area we already seen nine radius is given think like this don't just try to reproduce this formula if the radius is r the perimeter is going to be 2 pi r and if i open this up it has a height of 10 centimeter and that will be the rectangle's length and its height this will be 2 pi into 3 into 10 this is 2 into 3, 6 into 10, that is 60 pi. And if you don't write its unit, you won't get the full mark. So make sure you write its unit centimeter square. So the area of the lateral surface area of this cylinder is 60 pi square. <coughs> I'm going to change this example. I keep the height, let's say, same 10 centimeter h is equal to 10 centimeter and instead of the radius I am giving you its diameter let's say the diameter is 8 centimeter it's hard to find where the center of a cylinder is but it may be easier 
to measure its diameter d how do you measure a, dia a diameter you take a scale like this and if it is a cylinder you try to rotate the cylinder you put it around a cylinder and wherever you get the maximum length that will be the diameter the diameter will be easier to measure and that's why in some problem you are given the diameter now with this given diameter what is the lateral surface area and you calculate it pause it and try to find the answer and see if it matches with me maybe i make a mistake if i do just write it down in the comment section so the so the radius is given the diameter is given so radius will be equal to 4 cm and that is the radius of r its perimeter is going to be 2 pi r this is our perimeter this is 2 pi into 4 or 8 pi that is our perimeter so the lateral surface area will be equal to 2 pi r this is the perimeter and multiply by it pi so 2 pi into 4 height is 10 centimeter 2 into 4 is 8 8 into 10 is 80 so it's 80 pi again if you don't write a unit your marks will be deducted to so make sure you write it units these are the two problems on the lateral surface area let's do another one if a cylinder has a radius given as p and it is same as its height p find its total surface area TSA. I write it TSA and the problem you will be given total surface area. So let's find its lateral surface area. Lateral surface area is given by this perimeter. How much is the perimeter? 2 pi r. 2 pi r. This will also be the length of the rectangle when you unfold the cylinder. Multiply it by h we are given 2 pi into p into p that will be equal to 2 pi p square and what is the area of the top plus bottom area of top plus bottom surface will be equal to 2 times the area of the top surface it should be equal to pi into p square now what is the total surface area total surface area is the sum of the lateral surface area and the top and bottom surfaces so we will have 2 pi p square plus 2 pi p square and this is equal to 4 pi p square So this is the cylinder <coughs> surface area. Let's move on to slightly more complicated structure. Because once you have understood this, it should be easy to follow this. Make sure you keep doing more problems like this. What I am going to do is, this is my cylinder. I make another cylindrical hole into it like this I have made a hole into this cylinder such that this area, this radius is capital R. It's bigger, so I write it capital R. The outer radius is capital R. And this radius of the inner hole is small r. And what we need to find is, find lateral surface area of this cylinder. And then secondly, we need to find a total surface area of this cylinder. 
how do we do that? So first find out, let's find out the lateral surface area. It is a solid cylinder and there is a hole inside it. So there's going, there going to be a, some outside surface area and that will be the same as what we did earlier. So outer lateral surface area will be equal to the outer radius, outer perimeter multiplied by height. So we can write it as 2 pi r into h. The next we need to find, look at the inner surface. The inner surface is also exposed. It also has some area. So, and what that will be? Inner lateral surface. We call it inner lateral surface area. That will again be this radius, this perimeter multiplied by this height or 2 pi r into h. You can also be think about that. You have a hollow cylinder. How much paper will be required to cover its outer as well as the inner surface? That is the question. So you will first take a paper, cut it into length and the required width and paste it on the outside. And you also need to fill the inner surface, lateral surface. So you cut, cut this by this of a rectangle, insert it, put a glue and paste it. That is what the inner and outer radius are. So we can write total lateral surface area is equal to sum of the outer area and the inner area. So 2 pi r into h plus 2 pi small r into h. Something is common between these two. Only capital R and small r are different. 2 pi and h is common. What we do? 2 pi h multiplied by r plus h. r plus small r. So this is how we find the lateral surface area of a hollow cylinder. Let's find out the total surface area. To this surface area, we need to add this area, this shaded portion that is shown on the top and exactly same thing on the bottom. So how do you find, let's find one of them. Top surface area. To find the top surface area, we take this surface, what is the area of this outer? If it were not hollow, the total area would have been the area of this circle and the formula for that is pi into r square. And then look at the inner smaller circle. What is that area? It's pi small r square. Subtract from the outer area, the inner area, you get the area of this solid portion of this. Now exactly same area is exposed on the bottom. So the top plus bottom surface area that will be equal to 2 times this area. I write 2 times pi r square minus pi small r square. So we have found the lateral surface area, two lateral surface area, the top area and the bottom area. We need to add up all of these. So we write the total area is equal to total lateral surface area 2 pi h into capital R plus a small r plus the total, the top and the bottom areas. That is pi 2 into pi. We take pi common from this. What is left is capital R square minus small r square. That is the total surface area. We can take, you can write r square minus r square as r plus r into r minus r. 2 pi and r plus r is common in this and in this. And 
skipping one step and I hope you follow it. So we write 2 pi into capital R plus R common from this and a big bracket. 2 pi is gone, capital R plus R is gone. What is left is small h here. And plus 2 pi is gone outside, capital R minus R here. What is left is capital R minus R plus capital R minus R. So this is the simplified form of, of this is total area. This is one type of question you may be asked and I hope you can follow it. So we have followed the cylinder surface area. <laughs> if you want you can take a break, do the surface area questions and come back and check the next section in the same lecture and we will talk about I'll rub it off the volume of a cylinder again draws an ellipse draw two straight lines and a half circle and you have a cylinder same thing, the radius R and height H. How do we find the height of a, the volume of a cylinder? The volume of any object which has any shape of the base like this and exactly same shape on the top and let's say it's, we make a shape and volume of any arbitrary base shape which stays same throughout its height it does not becomes lower and smaller and bigger at different places is given by the area of this base multiplied by h this can be a triangle it can be pentagon it can be a square if it is like a square, it becomes like a parallel pipe or something like that. Why it's so? We can, we can, let us say this is our random shape. Let us say we make a very small strip out of it. And the volume of this will be this small surface multiplied by its height. And then we can keep a hundreds of these shapes and join all of them to get this total volume as the sum of these volume. I hope you can follow. If not, I can make another video on it. But in the next shell, you need to write that the cylinder volume will be equal to area of base multiplied by height. And it's true not only for cylinder, but any shape that has an area at the base and the bottom, and that area remains same throughout this height. It, it's not applicable if our cylinder is something like this. And then or maybe something like this. And this formula will not be applicable. The, the, throughout this height, it has to maintain its shape, its shape, which also means if you cut the cylinder on any of these places, you should get the same circle with the same radius. And what is the area of the base? Area of the base is pi r square and the height is h. Let us do <coughs> some question into cylinder volume. The radius of a cylinder is doubled and height 
is reduced to half. The radius of a cylinder of volume V, we have measured the initial volume V, is double and the height is reduced to half. What is volume of new cylinder? We had a we had a cylinder and we reduce its radius but increase we we doubled the radius to make make it bigger but it's reduced we reduced its height we need to find out does the cylinder volume increases decrease what does it become if it's initially v the volume of the cylinder is given by pi r square h so let us say initially the radius is r and the height is h and its volume is given at this v is known and new volume is v1 after making the changes we get a cylinder that has a volume v1 now in this new volume what we did the radius is doubled so instead of r we now have 2r so i can write 2r whole square and what we did to the height we reduce it was initially h we reduce to h by 2 so with these changes we get a cylinder that has a volume v1 and we don't know v1 that's what we need to find out v1 we can write it as v1 is equal to 2 r square is 4 r square pi into 4 r square into h by 2 you cancel 4 with 2 you can get 2 So V one is equal to two pi r square into h. This is our equation number two. We need to find out V one. We're going to make some space here. What you need to do is divide equation two with equation one. So divide V one by V on the left hand side. On the right hand side, we have two pi r square into h. On the left hand side, we have pi r square h. I write pi r square h. You see, many terms get cancelled. H h gone, r r gone, pi pi gone. This is two. So what do we have? V. This is V for for now. V one is equal to two V. So with all this, if you think that by changing the radius and height, both of them one one doubled, one reduced, you want you will expect that this volume is same, remains same. That's not so. Now volume becomes double because radius has a greater effect on the volume than the height, and that's why this cylinder have uh, has a it doubles in volume. <coughs> Let us do. one more variation and then we will call it we will do couple of more concept and then we'll i am making this cylinder hollow cylinder with external radius r and internal radius small r so this is a solid cylinder which is hollow from inside the same thing we did in the surface area we need to find out the volume of the solid part so let us do it the volume of outer cylinder the volume of the outer cylinder assuming that the cylinder was a, a complete cylinder that will be equal to area of this multiplied by height area of the base is pi into capital r square and the height is h now the volume of the inner hollow thing would be volume of inner cylinder that will be equal to the area of this base multiplied by the same height h is pi small r square into h This means 
the area of solid part will be equal to the volume of this whole outer thing minus the volume of this inner thing. So we have pi capital R square H minus pi small square R, R small square multiplied by H. There are two terms common in this expression, pi and H. We can write pi into H capital R square minus R square. This is the volume of a hollow cylinder. We can, in the same way, you, you, you don't need to memorize anything, just need to derive the things on the spot, you know. Nothing.